Okay, whenever you're ready. Hello, my name is Julie. Um, I'm a registered nurse. Um, I currently work on a telemetry oncology floor at Good Samaritan Hospital on Long Island, New York. Um, I graduated from SUNY Delhi with my associates in nursing in 2014. And then I went into a RN to BSN nursing program. Um, and I graduated with my BS and my bachelor's of science in nursing in 2016. And I've been working ever since, which is a total of seven years now. Okay, cool. So um, what was your main inspiration for becoming a nurse? So I never wanted to be a nurse actually. <laughs> when I first um, was looking into majors in high school. Um, I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field, but um, I always looked at nursing as like something like low on the totem pole type of thing. Like I, I thought nurses just wiped butt and did like the dirty work of things. Um, I actually initially wanted to be a physical therapist. I ended up interning in a physical therapy office and I did not like it at all. Um, it was very boring and dry. Um, so I knew I wanted to be in the medical field. I knew I wanted to help people. That was probably the main inspiration. Um, I got into a nursing program and my mom really encouraged me to do it. Um, my main goal in college was to play sports, but I wasn't gonna be a professional field hockey player. So thanks to her, she um, encouraged me to get, go to that program because it was the one program I got accepted to and it's hard like right out of college to be right out of high school to go in, right into a nursing program so um yeah I really, really just knew I wanted to help people and be in the medical field so I, I went for it and yeah it was a whole nother world <laughs> so uh what did you anticipate your difficulties would be like in the process of like studying to become a nurse I had absolutely no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> um, in high school, I wasn't like necessarily the smartest kid, but I, I had a good work ethic um, and I studied hard. And really if you need to be able to study in nursing school. So I would say the hardest part in the beginning was just learning how to study. I struggled in the beginning because I didn't know how to study. So like the first semester was just like teaching myself how to learn. And then once I kind of understood how to do that, I um, was able to make it through. But the hardest part was probably just like learning how to learn, if that makes sense. Yeah, so were there ever any times that you felt like giving up? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, there was this one period of time, so, my nursing program, it was a very small school. Um, it started out with 88 kids in the program. It's very like competitive to get into. We ended up with 28 graduating kids. So that's just like the type of like, the first semester usually like gets weeded out like the week. If you're not gonna focus, like you're gonna fail. If you're, if you're gonna like do other, like you literally couldn't do anything else except nursing. Um, or if you did, you were like a superhuman. <laughs> um, so wait, what was the question again? I'm sorry. That's okay. I just asked if you ever had any times you felt like giving up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was this one point, this was the second semester of my freshman year. I was struggling really hard. Um, I was taking prereqs on top of nursing courses while a lot of people took their prereqs prior to getting into the nursing program. So I just had a lot on my plate compared to the other students. Um, so I was struggling really hard at one point. I actually got like a notice saying like, I'm in danger of failing. And I was like devastated. And uh, uh, like, I was crying, like, it, like, I couldn't believe it. I was really just like embarrassed because I was like trying really hard, but I still like, was not doing well. So I got that notice. And then like, it was just one day instead of like letting it defeat me. And I like wanted to quit. I was just like, oh, what am I gonna tell my parents? What am I gonna tell my friends? Um, I just like kind of got the courage to be like, no, I'm not failing. And like, I didn't do anything else. I remember locking myself in the laundry room of my dorm and just studied like for literally, I didn't leave the laundry room. Like my friends were out partying and I was like, I am passing this next test with like flying colors. And I had like two tests in the same day, like really hard courses. And I, uh, like made myself do well. <laughs> That's just like the sick mindset I have, but um, that 
was probably the one time I like was just really like defeated. And then other times um, that were hard were when like my other friends were at party schools and it was a weekend and they're out having fun. Like that was frustrating and like hard because I was like supposed, like it looked like I was missing out on a lot of fun. And all I could kept thinking of was like the end result of like graduating. But in the, like, in the midst of it, I didn't think, um, you know, I, I didn't feel like it was something I wanted to do. So, yeah, really just, like, I guess I felt, like, kind of alone in it compared to some of my friends because they were having fun. And, and now, like, graduating, sometimes, like, they're in, the, they're in a different boat. You know, now I have, I'm able to do things now that I wasn't able to do in college. So if that makes sense. Yeah, so um, I think the next question was, uh, it was similar, like, uh, what was college like? So, like, after that, like, hard point, what was it like after then, once you got over that? After that, like, like, that hump? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was still hard. (laughs) I would say, like, the entire program was, like, a similar mindset, but once I graduated, um, it was definitely worth it. So, uh, was, what was, what would you say would be like the biggest thing that you learned in college that helped you like in your nursing career? Um, hmm. maybe, um, I would say like organization and prioritization, like in the nursing world, probably the biggest thing where I work is like everything's important you have to do it all but like what to do first and doing the most important thing first and like learning how to do that and same thing in college like you have so many things to do at one time but prioritizing what needs to be done versus what can wait or you know what could be pushed to the side or what's something that I really can't do right now that like you have to sacrifice like you want to sleep a little more sometimes or you want to like go out this night but school comes first so you know really just learning what what's most important yeah so like going along with that what is something that you maybe didn't learn while you were in college that is kind of crucial to nursing um probably the amount of work it actually is like they prepare you but that's I think any job too you're like whoa when you're actually working um I guess something specific is how to deal with death because you do see that a lot in the hospital and like you don't there's really no classes on how to deal with dying and um like the the dying process and grieving with family members and how to talk to family members and things like that. So that's probably the biggest thing you learn on the job that you don't learn in school. Um, so was working as a nurse like what you expected it to be or was it like something different? Uh, it was definitely different than like when before I got into nursing school. Like, like I said earlier, like, I thought like they just wipe butt, (laughs) but there's, you do so much more than anybody will ever know, unless you're an actual nurse, like even Ryan, my husband, like I can explain to him what I do, but like, he'll never fully understand. Like you, you're doing so many things at every given second of the day. You're doing one thing, but in the back of your mind, you're monitoring like seven other patients at the same time, you're monitoring drips, you're monitoring what you just did, what you have to do soon, who you have to call, what doctors are calling you. Like everything's at the same exact time. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> oh, just whether like, um, like actually being in the job was different than what you expected it to be. Okay, so yeah, yeah. You don't, I didn't expect it to be that much work, I guess. And like, it's just, it's hard to like think clearly. It depends on the setting too. I'm talking about a med surge floor, which is probably like the grime and the hardest 
um, field, like you could work in a doctor's office and obviously it's not going to be the same as a hospital setting. Um, I'm talking about like hospital nursing. Um, I didn't think it would be as much work, I guess. So would you say that the time that you spent in school would be like worth the outcome? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think nursing is probably the best um, major career you could do that makes like the most money in like the shortest amount of time. And like the mo you could get a job anywhere. You'll always have a job. You can go anywhere in the world and you can switch. Like a lot of jobs, like you get a job and like you're in that and that's that. But like nursing, there's so many options and you can change every year if you want really like you could change floors in the hospital or you could change settings completely you could do primary care you could do like a clinic you could do ICU pediatrics like neonatal like there's so many areas so yeah it's worth it yeah so did you ever wish that you had maybe chosen a different career path and kind of, if so, what would that have been? Um, that's the story of my life, wondering what I should have done. <laughs> like any, I'm always like, oh, what, I could be this, I could do that. Um, in the end, probably not because, um, like there's so many options, like I said too, like, I'm not like stuck. So like, I, there's not many jobs where you could switch and do different things. Like right now, like I went into nursing just to like, right now I'm still where I started. So I'm, I'm gonna actually switch my floor soon, but it's led me into another world of like primary prevention, um, which is like treating the patients like before they get sick, like preventing them from even getting to the point where they need to be treated with medicine and preventing them from getting into the hospital bed at all. So like through lifestyle and nutrition and diet, um, but seeing like very sick, I work on the oncology for cancer patients. Like I see how sick they are. I want to prevent people from even getting to that point, which I would have never known if I didn't work in that setting that I liked that. So it's led me more into like the primary prevention route. I don't know what that looks like yet, but that's something where I'm leading towards going down. Um, so what should a potential nurse be prepared for when they graduate? Um, be prepared to get yelled at by doctors, <laughs> family members, and um, um, definitely they're going to be stressed. But on a more positive note, it's very rewarding. Um, you're going to have like stories that like will change you forever. And like, you're going to also impact your patients forever too, in ways that you, you don't even know. Um, what was the question? Say it again. What should a potential nurse be prepared for when they graduate? Oh yeah. So I guess just like the amount of workload it's a lot, but it's worth it. So before one uh, gets a job as a nurse, like what are some standardized tests that you like nurses have to take? So in order to be like licensed, you graduate nursing school and then you have to take something called the NCLEX and that's a standardized test um, to actually get your certification to work anywhere. Um, and that, I think it depends on the state, but I'm in New York. So New York, it's different now. Also, I think COVID changed everything, but it always used to be, um, a 75 to 225 question test. And it was on every single thing you covered in nursing school. Um, you Go in. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever taken those type of tests where you're in this like setting and it's very, you know, they take your fingerprint. It's very serious. They lock everything up and it's just you in a room. Um, scariest thing you'll ever do. <laughs> that was like the most nerve wracking thing of my life taking that test. 
Um, and it, the computer just shuts off at any given point in the test. So I, you could be on question 75, it could shut off and that could have either meant you passed or you failed, or you could be on question 225 and it shuts off, or you can be in the middle like me. I was on question like 141 and it just shuts off. And it just says like, thank you. And you have no idea. And it'll either shut off because you passed or it'll either shut off because you failed. Like you answered, so you don't, you have absolutely no idea. <laughs> And they're all in the questions in nursing school, like absolutely suck on tests. And they, and they prepared us pretty well in my program. They gave us a lot of NCLEX style questions, but those type of questions, um, basically all the answers are right. <laughs> you just have to pick like the best one, which is the most annoying thing. Cause like, you're going to like, say, for example, whatever the questions you're going to do all those things, but it's like, okay, what would I do first? Or what would I do? What's the most important so that's the hardest part too. Cause like you can still be right, but you're still wrong. <laughs> but that's the, the test you absolutely have to take. And then when you get into whatever floor field you're in, um, there's different certifications. Like if you're on a med surge floor, you can get your med surge certification test. Um, ICU, there's like a critical care nursing certification. Um, there's so many things. Um, I'm on the cancer floor, so I have my chemo certification because I administer chemotherapy. Um, but that's just my specific floor. And you can get like your ONS, your oncology nurse certification. And so, yeah, there's like specialties. Yeah, so just like talking a little more specifically about yourself, do you work in a hospital or somewhere else? Yes, I work in a hospital. Okay, so what are some of the most difficult parts about um, working in a hospital? Um, my hospital specifically, probably the nurse to patient ratio. Like we're very understaffed and overworked. And Long Island is very populated. So every hospital is like that. Um, there's no slow hospitals, except if you go like upstate New York. So on a really bad day, we'll have seven patients to one nurse. And on a good day, it'll be like five patients. But I would say that the hardest part is the workload. Because it's very hard to think and take quality care of your patients because you can't. You're just like kind of doing tasks and like moving, doing what you have to do to get done safely. But you can't like really give the patients what you want to do. You can't really talk to them as much as you would like and things like that because of the staffing. But that's honestly, if you ask any hospital, they're gonna complain about that. <laughs> so going along with that, um, what would you say that you probably enjoy the most? Um, I would say like the flexibility. So like you go, to, you go into work, you get an assignment of what patients you have for the day and you basically like you're on your own there like nobody's really keeping track of you what you're doing like it's on you it's your license if you don't do what you have to do or if you mess up or if so it's very like uh, um independent when, once you're there you have your other nurses on the floor but they're all doing their own thing but there's nobody like overseeing you necessarily um if you could take like if you need a walk like I can go and eat something if I want like on, on my own time like I like the freedom and flexibility that you have. If I want to like take a little bit of a longer break, like that, I, that's on me, like I'll get out of work later. Um, and also the schedule is really nice. It's um, most hospitals do this. We do 12 hour shifts. So full time, you only work three days a week. It's three 12 hour shifts and you're off four days a week. So that gives you time to do other things and, you know, other hobbies, whatever, on the side. So um, what advice would you give to a nursing student like about their future career? Um, I would definitely say if they're in nursing school, like don't give up, it's definitely worth it. Um, it's definitely a career you could support yourself independently, like forever, you'll, be able to, you know, you don't necessarily 
need somebody else to help you. Like it's very a well-paying job. Um, the skills you learn, you could use anywhere and everywhere. Um, it's not like a career where once you're retired, like that's it. Like you're always going to be a nurse if you're working or not. Um, it's just good to have is like when, if you're going to be a mom or a parent too, just for your kids and it's just rewarding and it's, um, you see some crazy things. <laughs> so overall, do you truly enjoy what you do? Overall, yes. Um, right now, I think I'm a little burnt out. So I'm in like a weird boat to talk about that. Um, but which is why I'm looking to um, soon just move because I need something new. But overall, yes, I enjoy it or I don't think I would still be doing it. So the last thing we have is, um, how would you say that your job affects your everyday life? Um, in the beginning, it was more like emotionally taxing and told, um, like, like I would bring more of it home with me in the beginning. Cause it was more new. And now I can like separate work from my home life. Like sometimes I would come home and cry from like a patient, you know, cause we would get close to some of the patients and then we would like be with them through their entire chemo and, like from their diagnosis to sometimes like their death on their, you know, on their deathbed. So that was hard. Um, so sometimes it would take a toll on that home life part, you know, like I've been to some of my patients' funerals and things like that. Um, but now I'm a little more like separated from that. I try not to get too attached to, to my patients. Um, um, I would say also like the next day, say I work two days in a row, it's, it's very like a draining job. Like you don't want to do anything else. So like the next day you're very just dead. You just need to rest. So it's definitely exhausting even when you're off. Um, but overall, it, like you're off four days a week. So you have like, and they do that for a reason. Like you have time to recover and recuperate and like rest and recover. Well, thank you for letting us interview you. You're welcome. I hope this, uh, I hope you guys get an A plus. <laughs> thank you so much.